moving experience for the Spurs last night and their fans. Uh, I get it. Moving, yes. yeah. Our, <laughs> our little cute cat we have, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, indeed. And we've got some other uh, great animals. We're going to show those in a moment. But first of all, what everybody is talking about. Yes, the San Antonio Spurs. We're so excited. We won the lottery, right? That's what it feels like. It, it's like winning a championship when yes. you do some of the video. Yes. Also, hey, you want to win another big championship maybe? How you can win free ice cream for a year. That's right. Ooh. And that sounds great. That yeah, especially great. for the summer. And we have Animal World and Snake Farm Zoo here with us today. Yep, Jared Forthman is here. And who is this guy? This is Snip. Okay. What is Snip is just one of two dwarf crocodile babies that we have. His brother would be Snap. Okay, and we're going to tell you how you can get really up close and personal with those guys. I don't know if he likes his close-up or was not. And also, we're going to meet a zebu. What is a zebu? You will find out. Yes, it's very moving, right? Like David said, Bo yes. And Doghouse is here. We have John Burr joining us. Now, what is the dog of the month? Dog of the month is the El Pastor. It is a Mexican dish inside of a hot dog. Ooh, Ooh. and part of the proceeds of that go to a very special cause. And then also, you got some for SA Live viewers, too. Absolutely. We'll tell uh, you how you can get a Free uh, dog house. House? Yes. Yeah. House dog. <laughs> house dog. There you go. Then, if she's not too excited about Spurs, we're going to go Texas trip and that and a whole lot more coming up on SA Live. Hello, everyone. These are your top headlines from Cheddar News. Co-working space WeWork announcing their chairman and CEO Sandeep Mithrani is stepping down after three years at the company. Board member David Tolley is appointed interim CEO. That while a special committee seeks a permanent replacement. In the last month, WeWork revealed that they were in danger of being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange due to its stock consistently trading below a dollar. Meanwhile, the FDA announced safety data for Pfizer's RSV vaccine, saying it's safe for pregnant women to protect their newborns when the shot is administered administered during the late second or third trimester. An advisory panel is set to meet on Thursday that to discuss whether to recommend the vaccine for full approval. The FDA plans to make that decision in August. And Home Depot saw its first annual sales decline in over a decade as the company's revenue fell short of expectations in Q1, with their CEO pointing to lumber deflation and bad weather in the West causing weaker sales. And that's your Cheddar News Update. I'm Baker Machado coming to you from Cheddar Studios in Lower Manhattan. Right now we're sitting at 82, 87 the forecast high today. Can't completely rule out a straight shower storm, but otherwise partly cloudy. I think that's probably what uh, we'll be looking at here this afternoon. 89 tomorrow, 91 Friday. Hot day on Friday, but we will watch for some storms in the evening hours. And going into Saturday morning, could see a few strong storms mixed in there as well. Guys. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the news at noon with us. I know you're excited about Snip and Snap because alligators are like part of your life. Being from well, Louisiana. We grew up with them. Yeah. So Oh, we those are crocodiles? Have, we we didn't have oh, them as pets. You didn't have crocodiles though. No. That's a different thing. It's a different yeah, crocodiles' heads are anyway. We'll learn all about it right now because SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Go Spurs, go! <laughs> Feel that energy here. Hello and happy Wednesday. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske and for Fiona today. And I'm Mike Oster Hage. And boy, you can just hear that Go Spurs go echoing around the city today after it's almost like the Spurs won a championship. Right. That's yeah, what it looked like. With everybody honking. 14% chance at getting the first pick, and they had the luck of the draw, and so now they get the first pick coming up, yes. and when the draft comes up uh, next month in June, yes, I believe. Yes, yes, yeah. we're so excited for Wemby, right? Everyone's talking about that, so we want to see, share more of that love of your Spurs. Maybe it's an old photo, right, from some of the former players, and we'll share that on our pages at SA Live KSAT, and um, yeah, right? Yeah. With a little later in the show. I got my and shirt on today. I'll, I'll tell you, when she came walking in here, that's all she was, oh my God, I can't believe it. Just, it just, it, yeah, one Earrings, of the, one of the, the many dedicated colors. Spurs fans right here. Yes. <laughs> all right, switching gears, of course, Memorial Day weekend is next weekend. And boy, you're going to want to do a lot coming up this summer. And boy, the place to go is Animal World and Snake Farm. That's right. Jared Forthman joins us today with some cute friends, right? And some scaly friends as well. Yes. Welcome, sir. Okay. First of all, we were talking about 
about this guy? Who is this? Yes, this is, to me, my opinion, this has to be the cutest animal there yes. is. This is Bullseye, cute. the micro mini Zebu. Oh. So Zebu are the oldest domesticated cattle on the planet. And because they've been domesticated for so long, uh, humans have been able to create micro cattle. Wow. So little Bullseye here is only four months old. So he's still little, but yeah. he's only going to get about 300 pounds, which is what classifies him as one of the micro. Which is still pretty heavy, but, but that is still That's micro. That's right. So if, if you would picture breed. like a big Brahma bull, it's going <laughs> to grow to be about 2,000 pounds. Whoa. Okay. This little guy oh, only oh. getting 300 pounds, that kind of gives you a, yes. a reference of how small they actually are. So full size, he's going to be about the size of what a calf is of, of the other that, ones. Exactly. Oh, got it, got it. Exactly. And, and they're found in India? That's right. Yep. So like I mentioned, they're, they're the oldest domesticated cattle, mm -hmm. uh, primarily used as a beef cattle there in India, but now they're here obviously in the States, even kept as pets. And Very you can calm. see just totally calm. He's been kind of following us around the square here. He just and, loves and it. He was kind of an orphan and you had to sort of rescue him, right? That's right, that's right. Uh, his mom didn't take care of him so well, so we got a call to see if we could assist and we were happy to uh, to provide him a home. And he lives with a whole bunch of other animals in our petting zoo where people go in and just give him lots of love. So he just loves people to death. The, the hump right there, uh, like where shoulder blades would be. Is mm -hmm. that any purpose or? Uh, yeah, that's that's a fat storage. They, f oh. they live in really hot climates, just like cattle, and they're mm -hmm. able to break down that fat storage as oh. a source of water or other nutrition that they might need when they're going long periods of time uh, in the heat without water. Almost oh. like a camel. So, yeah, exactly, oh. yeah. How okay. I love really? the eyelashes. <laughs> he is very cute, he, you know, <laughs> petting zoo, but something you don't necessarily <laughs> want to cuddle up next to, <laughs> yeah. as we were talking about before. And these are the ones, they are siblings. <laughs> All right, yes. Uh, we are very proud of these guys. Let me go ahead and hand the calm one off to you. Oh, thank All you right. very much. And uh, Jen, I know you can handle a little more feisty snap here. Okay. So we've got we've got Snip and Snap, <laughs> the hatchling dwarf crocodiles. And like I mentioned, we're so stoked to have hatched them there at the zoo. This is a very rare crocodilian species um, that we're just tickled to death to have. Uh, matter of fact, so fascinated with these guys. They've joined our animal ambassador program where people actually book animal encounters with them and get to do what you're doing right here. Really? Uh, they get one-on-one uh, -on -one time with these guys as well as a zookeeper and get to ask a lot of questions, get a lot of cool pictures and things like that. And you said they are the smallest of the crocodilians. That's right. This is the smallest of 24 crocodilian species. Now, being that Memorial Weekend is coming, they're here to kind of talk about our crocodile feedings ah. that are coming up. Those are going to be Sundays at 3 o'clock all summer long starting Memorial Weekend. And we're going to feed large alligators, crocodiles big, by Jerry? hand. Tell me how big uh, those are. Well over 10 feet long, Whoa. animals weighing over 1,000 pounds, biting with the strongest jaws in the world. Action-packed, wow. adrenaline show. I mean, too cool. You'll be at the edge of your seat for sure. Why? Like, Folks don't feed them, day. but they can get about as up close as you can get or want to get right. to a you're going to be right up close. You'll hear those jaws smack. I mean, if your heart doesn't skip a beat, then it wasn't a good show that day. Oh and really fun stuff. And that's just one of the, the many, many, many shows and encounters you have over that's there. That's right. right. We're known to get people more up close and personal than any other zoo in Texas. Uh, lots of hands-on opportunities. Interactive shows every 30 minutes from feeding bison, camels, tortoises, to petting foxes, lemurs. I mean, you name it. It's, it's all about, especially the kiddos, getting them up close and personal, helping them fall in love with our wildlife. Yeah. To me, that's the, the best, uh, best chance for conservation that we have out there. Uh, you told me a really interesting fact about all the little ridges on their backs and on their tails. Yeah, those are called osteoderms, and each one of those is an individual bone plate that's right under the skin not connected to the rest of their skeletal structure uh, that serves as armor for these guys. So a big crocodiles, full of armor, strongest jaws in the world. They're pretty much predator proof. Wow. Yeah. And then Mike, they also I see have how you the, positioned the him. He's eyeing arteries me. <laughs> in there, so that's what warms them up. That's right. It's flow. Okay. filled with blood vessels all the way around, and it helps them regulate their, uh, their body temperature, being cold-blooded animals. All right, another one which is not related to this, but kind of looks like him a little bit. That's is right. This guy. This is uh, the largest gecko. They're called New Caledonia geckos. Uh, obviously found on the islands of Caledonia uh, exclusively. 
Um, really, really rare species. Uh, they grow very slowly. They only have a couple offspring at a time, so there's not many of them out there. Definitely not many in captivity. Uh, we really love having I love these their guys. Eyes, yeah, this is oh. a, an omnivore, so they feed on everything from fruits to different insects and even small mammals. And uh, what's really cool is they're actually pretty vocal. So if they're uh, scared of a predator, they'll actually growl. Uh, they'll chirp, uh, they scream when they've caught prey. Whoa. It's pretty impressive. Wow. Really, really cool stuff. Just uh, three different species of what, 500 animals you have out there, and you That's start over right. feedings this weekend, and then shows and everything else. Yeah, out kicks there. off Memorial Weekend. Uh, we've got something for everybody out there. All really, right. really cool. Uh, Always we'll, a good time. Yeah, don't forget, out there, Animal World and Snake Farm, just uh, right off I 35. And uh, yeah, go there for more information, SA Live. Com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Closest you can get to a lot of these animals. Jared, Casey, thank you yes, both thank very, very much. Thank you all. All right, switching gears, even these two They're are excited. excited. Yeah, can yes. you see it? <laughs> Looking at the video of Spurs from last night winning that first yes, pick, yes. you would have thought they won another championship. Yes, everybody's excited about Wemby. So we went out to ask, you know, hey, SA, what do you think? How are you feeling? Should I say bonjour, SA? Yeah, for Wemby? Take a look. So I think all the people that were praying and all the candles and all the velas that got turned on, apparently that works, right? Yes, I so agree. So God's or the basketball God's favorite San Antonio. And are you from San Antonio? Yes. So you remember 1997 when we got Tim Duncan, how excited we all were. How, how do you compare that to, right, to, to, to this one? Well, if you look at social media, you would think that we won the championship game, including all the honking downtown, correct? <laughs> So true, so true. Go Spurs, go. go. Uh, we're really excited about this. Uh, number one pick might win the championship too. All right. Go Spurs, go. But last night when I saw the, uh, everybody happy, I'm happy. We haven't got a number one since I guess Tim Duncan. Yeah. So it's, it's good for the Spurs. Go Spurs, go. Oh, you watch this live. Yeah, watch it live. What was your reaction? Uh, a lot of screaming and yelling, a lot of excitement. I've been around the city of San Antonio for a long time, so fired up. Hope he's, hope he's as good as Tim Duncan was and can uh, change the city around. So my uh, grandma actually has a tattoo of Spurs on her arm, so yes. very excited. That yeah. is a really cool grandma. Yeah. All right, are you from San Antonio? I'm not. I'm from Houston, so I was a little disappointed. It's exciting for the city, though, and being able to live here and like see how excited the fans are and the enthusiasm and energy that the city is going to have. I mean, it's good for the city, so, but go Rockets. Go Spurs, go. Go Spurs, go. Go Spurs, go. Go Spurs, go. All right, it's and I know. blood in the city, too. I love it. I'm already feeling it. And Victor Wimbanyama, now everyone's talking about it. But to put it in perspective, if you don't know just how special he is, let's talk about the height. Okay. Seven feet, four inches. Yes, yeah, so you have your how, tape How measure. tall are you with heels on? <laughs> uh, I'm 5'1", but I've got heels on right now. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, see how tall is he. Oh, good. I can't. Seven foot Whoa. four is right We need a stool for Mike. <laughs> there. Wow. And I'm six foot. And then he has got a reach, eight his feet. wingspan yes, eight is feet. eight feet. I'll hold this. Yours is what? <laughs> five. Uh, about five. Yeah. Okay, go over there. We're okay. going to show eight feet. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep, keep going. Keep going. Wow. Oh my gosh, where's the eight foot this mark is right here? Right about there. Yeah, this is his reach wow. from her right hand to my left hand. Amazing. And the thing is, too, the guy moves like a point guard. Yes, we can go on forever, Mike. <laughs> and he's 7'4". He's yes, All exactly. Right. We're very excited about this. And we have a few comments already that we're going to share because we want to see your Spurs love. Love on your Spurs. Keep it coming, guys. All go right. Spurs, Linda says. Yes. Yep. And everybody's, I mean, that is the chance. And like I said, it's almost like we won another championship yes. with the people driving around and everything. Yes. And yeah, love it, it. it. It's exciting. It's very exciting. All right. Well, we got more coming up here on SA Live. Take a trip and have a sip. We visit three breweries you can check out when you do a little Texas trip in this summer. And free ice cream for a year. No, this is not a joke. Find out how you can make this dream come true. It is our deal of the day. But first, a pizza hot dog and a Nashville hot chicken dog. What's next? How does this restaurant is turning a classic Mexican dish into some new and ex something new and exciting? And what's behind these fun twists? That's next on SA Live.
Welcome back to SA Live. This restaurant is known for their over-the-top hot dogs, but this year they've been going big with their absolute worst sausage series. <laughs> John Bird from Doghouse Beer Garden is here to show us the limited edition hot dog for this month and some of the other dogs they have, how you can win a free, all sorts of good stuff. Anyway, good to see Welcome. you, sir. Yes, thank you. All right, new flavor of the month, what is it? This is the El Pastor sausage. So. A dollar from this sausage goes to No Kid Hungry, first off, so okay. before you even take a bite, you're already doing something good for everybody. Wonderful. Um, so inside this sausage is, it's a pork sausage with chilies, garlic, Mexican oregano, and pineapple. Pineapple too? So it's all in one bite, you get little, all the flavor. Yeah, a little heat Ooh, with a little bit of love it. pineapple to settle it down a little bit. All right, me. and mm. there's different ways you can do it any way you want to, but you have the worst way to do it, which yes. is exactly <laughs> what you call it, right? Yes, indeed. So the worst way is with our chipotle aioli, so, with the eight points on top of that. So I saw if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How'd I do? There we go, looking beautiful. Close up. And <laughs> green onions. And green onions. And that's it? And it's that simple, because all the, all the the flavors inside of that sausage. It's action packed. So I remember you talking last month about the Italian sausage. It, the trick is getting all the flavors in there, making a sausage out of it, but not having it just kind of all meld together so you can actually bite into each and every little yeah, bite. Yeah, every stuff, bite's right? action, action packed. It's full of flavor. So. And so the other way we have the, the work, or your way. Yes, so you can put way. whatever toppings you want on top right. of it. So we also avocado. have the, the burrito way, which is one of my favorites, obviously. Uh, and then um, the, the sliced, and then also the corn dog. Okay. How is it, Mike? That is delicious. Yeah. Well, it's got a kick to it, too. Mm hmm. Mm. And there's only a limited amount of these, right? Each store gets a limited yep. amount. Yeah, every store gets a limited amount, and once it's gone, it's gone. Then you just got to wait till next month, because wow. the next month we're bringing something exciting. Well, that's got a big well. kick to it. Okay, let's uh -huh. talk about Hello. what else did <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hit you? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this, what do you have here? Yeah. This is what, what I call our healthy version of a hot dog. Okay. You know, so we got some arugula on there, provides that crunch. We have avocados, tomatoes, the um, french fried onions, and our in house made spicy basil aioli. I like how you say healthy. Yes. Yes. That's healthy to me. It's like too. a salad. Yeah, there you go. It's delicious. <laughs> and, and the way we've done them, oh, that avocado on there looks so good. Yeah. That's just two of, what, five different ways to get this? Yeah. Yep, so you got the burrito, the sliced sausage, the corn dog, the worst way, and then your way. Okay. And each one of those, no matter which way you buy it, a, a dollar goes to No Kid Hungry. Okay, I'm gonna try You're going to like yeah, this. Okay. All right, tell me about that burrito because you talk about everything, including the kitchen sink, basically, in that thing. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Mm. Uh, I usually split it with, with my fiance because okay. uh, it, 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 it's, it's a lot of stuff in there. You got 10 tots, three eggs. Uh, four slices of cheese, you know, the sausage itself, chipotle aioli, and green onions inside of that. That so, sounds like the 12 days wow. of Christmas going on there. Yeah. Ten tots, three. <laughs> Good. And you share, like you said, right? Yeah, Something yeah, to share. it's a lot. Yes. But, now, other than the, the sausage of the month, you've got regular dogs, bratwurst, yeah, everything chicken, else, Chicken, right? we have a whole plant-based menu that's not an afterthought, it's an actual plant-based menu. Uh, we have 26 taps, craft beer. Full liquor, you know, we have some four, uh, four yeah, sixes offerings of here. Mm -hmm. We do carry these in store on tap. Uh, you know, it's been made famous very much so from the Yellowstone TV series. Mm -hmm. You know, the next one coming out is the four sixes. So uh, you're going to be seeing this really going everywhere in the yes. next couple months for sure. You mentioned TV screens as well, so cocktails, yeah. beer, oh, great, food, great place just to a watch great place to come together. Yeah, 20 Locate plus TVs. Locations. So we have Stone Oak, which is mm -hmm. uh, Stone Oak Parkway North 281. Uh, we have our Bandera Oaks location, which is right by the biggest HEB in the state of Texas. Yeah, that is and then we're actually, so um, it's going to be some, this summer, I'd say late next month or so, but McIntyre's Bar, which is loca located at North Star, so 410 and 281 area right there next to Pluckers. And mm -hmm. So it's a big, awesome bar. We're actually going to be the food provider inside That's of that so location. Exciting. So if you wow. want Doghouse, you can go to McIntyre's. Yes, and that's their second location, uh, right? in, in, in the San Antonio, San Antonio market. Yep. And now you guys are teaming up. Oh, I love it. Not only does a dollar from the sausage of the month go to No Kid Hungry, but folks can get a special, we have right? A deal for our we viewers. got a special for today. So if you're uh, just mentioned that you saw this up, you know, on mm -hmm. SA Live, go into the store, and we're doing a buy a Haas dog, get a free Haas dog. That's the the regular dogs that you yep. have there. Okay. Yep. 
So uh, that's a great deal. If you're going to go, yeah. today's a good day to go. See? Good right. thing you're watching people. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, you know, and the great thing about that, you bite and you need another bite. And you I have know. To bite I'm, I'm waiting for yeah. commercial that I'm yeah. going back in. This is so delicious. <laughs> it's a Don't forget, one dollar of every Alpha Store sausage benefits no kids go hungry, and the Korean barbecue sausage is next month. That starts June first. For more information on Doghouse, don't forget to mention you saw it on SA Live. One of their regular dogs, you get one, buy one, get one free. Snap the QR code right there on your screen or go to salive.com. Oh, it's delicious, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right, still ahead on SA Live, looking for the home of your dreams. We take a sneak peek inside some of the newest homes in the area and how soon you can move in. And would you like to transform your bathroom? There's a local company who'd like to help, and they're offering a huge deal. Details are straight ahead. That old tub needs to go, so what do you put in its place? Well, a lot of people are converting their tubs to showers these days, and we have someone who can save you some money here with us today. Ellie Stringer, who is the customer happiness manager for I Need a Shower, and you got a special deal for people watching right now. First of all, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Now, Mike, I know you're usually the interviewer, okay. but I have a question for you. Shoot. Do you enjoy scrubbing your tub or shower? Does anybody? No. No, no of course okay. not. How about stepping in and out of your tub to take a shower? Well, that, yeah, I mean, because you got to go over it, and then it's wet, and you don't want to slip and fall. So is that why people then convert tubs to showers? Absolutely. So that's actually our number one service, is folks not wanting to step in and out of a tub, trip, slip. That way we can remove it and put in a walk-in shower. Okay. And the other great thing is you never have to scrub a shower remodel by I Need a Shower. Really? Exactly. So we have a state-of-the-art material that resists all the nasty stuff that can grow in a shower like mildew, mold, stains, rust, any of that will never grow in your I Need a Shower shower so you never have to scrub it. So and which that to me is 90% of the selling point for it, but what about the, the easier access? So that's just so you don't have mm -hmm. to step over the tub? Exactly. So, you know, a tub ranges from 15 to 19 inches tall. Our walk-in showers are just under three inches. So you can walk right in, you gain some of the space that you lost from a tub, just makes it a much more relaxing and enjoyable experience. So how is I Need a Shower making it more affordable though for people to replace tubs with those walk-in showers? Good question. So we are veteran owned, so we do veteran discounts. We also do senior discounts. We have amazing financing. I've seen payments as low as $99 a month. Wow. Yes, very affordable. And right now for your viewers, the first 10 that call will get an extra bonus. Which is? That is our tub trade-in program. So that's where folks, they want to get rid of that old bathtub, put in a walk-in shower. We'll put $1,000 towards their walk-in shower remodel. Wow, first yeah. 10 callers to do that. Yes, first 10. Okay, now as far as resale on having a shower instead of a tub, uh, how does that work? Do a lot of people feel, eh, that's fine, I do this with the shower. Well, we're seeing a lot of people move towards having walk-in showers versus bathtubs. It's safety, it's just more spacious and relaxing. So most people will go ahead and put that in their master bathroom and then maybe keep a tub in a guest or a hall bathroom just as an option for resale. Okay, and then again, like you said, you don't have to clean the things. So. Exactly, exactly. Think of all the time you get back. <laughs> so, yeah, all that time and all the money you can save as well. So call now to get $1,000 put toward your tub to, to what to, tub to walk in shower conversion with the I Need a Shower. It's their tub trade-in special. Just call 210-871-0442 and for more information visit the website ineedashower.com. Allie, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey SA Live, Molly Richardson here coming to you from the Coleman Sellers Estate and spring has sprung and we have the perfect recipe for this time of year, roasted beet hummus. And I'm going to show you how to make it. And next, looking to take a road trip this summer, we're visiting three hill country hotspots. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Ooh, that looks like a nice sight for a cold one there. This week's American Craft Beer Week, and we are featuring some breweries in and around South Texas that Jen visited. And did you bring back samples? Oh, sorry. No, next time. <laughs> 
Okay, yes. Okay, let's move back to this. Yes, bring your designated driver on a short drive on I-10 West to Bernie, where you can sip on some suds in this brewery edition of Texas Trippin'. Sorry. Breweries in Bernie, our first stop right in the heart of Bernie's Hill Country Mile, Tusculum Brewing Company. Wow, so we are in the brew house and Chipper Matthews is one of the operating partners. Tell me about what people can experience when they come here. We have a lot of space here at Tusculum. So we're dog friendly, we have a very big beer garden. We have live music outside every Friday and Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. Our top selling beers are our Big Tex Blonde, which is kind of like a Hefeweizen. And we have a Lion Slide Kolsch, it's about the hardest beer to keep on sometimes. And it's a just a light, easy drinking beer. And we can't forget about the menu items. Check out this popper sandwich, which includes a grilled cream cheese spread jalapeno popper, the Instagrammable charcuterie board complete with four types of cheese, two types of meat, and an olive medley in the middle. And you can't forget about my personal favorite, the salads. Bernie's for beer, grab a pint from us. We don't have competitors in brewing, we have compadres, so grab a pint from some of our compadres down the street and uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy Bernie, because it's for beer. One of the other compadres down the street is Cibolo Creek Brewing Company. From whiskey stouts to the Bernie Blonde, Cibolo Brewing Company is serving up an array of craft beer with a bonus farm to market menu. Did I mention they have the cutest front porch? Let's go check it out. Fresh is an adjective that we adhere to pretty strictly here. So we bake all of our bread, all of our burger buns the night before. Uh, we make all of our mayo, mustard, and ketchup in-house. All of our proteins are from Texas, antibiotic-free, hormone-free. Uh, so it's it's truly a scratch kitchen. Got it. What's one of the customer favorites on the menu? Uh, the goat burger is very, very popular. It's about uh, it's about a mountain of a burger. It's topped with onion rings and a house-made uh, pimento cheese. Bernie Blonde is it's the number one seller every single day. It's a great beer whether you're new to craft beer uh, or you're a seasoned beer lover and connoisseur. Uh, the staff favorite is the Creekside IPA right here. That's a West Coast IPA, very piney and citrusy, very hoppy. We're located on Main Street here in Bernie and we want people to feel comfortable like they're on vacation in Main Street in a small town. So we're not here to turn tables and get people in and out quickly. Uh, whether you're here for a beer with friends and that ends up turning into a couple hours of drinking with friends or you're here for a date or a dinner with the family or you see some people and you want to swap tables or join them, that's just that's why we're here. Our last stop on the Bernie Brew Trail is one of the newest hotspots in town, Free Roam Brewing Company. Owned by one-time San Francisco Giant pitcher Jeremy Affelt, along with Brandon Phillips and head brewer Jaron Shepard, offering a selection of your favorite brews and a huge outdoor space for family and friends. You know, handcrafted ales and lagers, anything from IPAs to stouts, uh, pale ales, anything in between, we're gonna do a ton of light lagers. Like most breweries, we wanna diversify ourselves and, and not just cater to one crowd, so uh, we're gonna have a plethora of different beer options, beer styles, um, events. Free Roam Brewing Company is an homage to their spirit animal, the buffalo. Jeremy uses it a lot in his motivation speaking he does motivational speaking all over the country um, and with that he likes the buffalo mentality and with the buffalo mentality comes um, facing storms and weathering storms we're uh, located on the hill country mile in downtown Bernie 325 South Main Street yeah we can't wait to see you guys and if you get hungry free roam is home to some of Bernie's best food trucks around snap the QR code on the screen for more on these three Bernie brew spots or go to sa live.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. Hey, SA Live, Molly Richardson here from Coleman Cellars. Stay tuned, we have a beautiful roasted beet hummus, yum. And next, a brand new ice cream shop here in town offering free ice cream for a year. How you can nab this sweet deal of the day. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time for our deal of the day. All right, tomorrow, Thursday, May 18th, is the grand opening of Handel's Homemade Ice Cream, and it's their first location here in the Alamo City. 
to celebrate, the first 100 guests will receive free ice cream for a year. Wow, that's amazing. The free ice cream is only redeemable at the San Antonio location. That's at the South Rim Shopping Center near the Rim. There will also be a face painter, balloon maker. Handles is known for having about 100 flavors of ice cream. The party starts at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Don't miss this great deal. All right, earlier you saw three breweries, but there's also some great vineyards located in the hill country like Coleman Cellars. And they don't just know their wine, but they know really good food on top of that. And today we get a recipe straight from their Bistro Chef, a spring inspired appetizer or snack that is perfect for any occasion. So check it out. guys, welcome back to Coleman Cellars. We are here with another Coleman in the Kitchen segment. I am Molly Richardson, tasting room manager at Coleman Cellars, and today I have with me Miss Gill, our in-house chef. She takes care of all of our uh, bistro items with our on-site bistro and helps out with our wine and food pairing as well. And today we are gonna make a Gill special. What are we having? We are having roasted beet hummus. Yum. We are sitting in front of our beautiful vineyard. It's hard not to be inspired when you work in a place like this, but what inspires you food-wise right now? I think it is the color, the colors of spring and then the, uh, the things in my garden at home right now, uh, you know, it's too early for the vegetables, but I have a lot of beautiful herbs. Mm -hmm. Cooking with wine, what's the key? Don't ever use anything to cook with that you wouldn't drink. Right, because that's the best part is, you know, a little for the dish, a little for me, right? <laughs> right, exactly. All right, well, thank you so much for being here and teaching me how to make beet hummus. All right, we're going to start with our beets. So they have been uh, peeled, quartered, and roasted, covered with tinfoil for about 30 minutes. Okay, no oil, no, oil, no salt, no, no oil any or of that. No salt. Okay. Nope. So we are going to puree these. Very fine consistency. So we're going to pulse it a few times. Go in and give it a little scrape there. Okay. Uh, to get all those oh, bigger see, pieces yeah. down. And this is such a great recipe. I first of all, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, but I love it. You know, this is great for picnics. This is great for summer, and it's a little different. So you can kind of impress your friends with your, with your kitchen skills. Right, and it's really easy. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two cans of mostly drained chickpeas or gar garbanzo beans. Okay. Pulse again? No, we're just just going to turn it on and let it go. Oh my gosh, you can already see that pink color coming through. That is gorgeous. Let's give it a let's give it a stop here and uh, give it a real quick scrape. Now we can start adding our other ingredients. Okay, so to this we have several ingredients here. Uh, just all of it together. What all are we doing? of it together. Salt, coarse ground black pepper, orange zest, tahini, which is a sesame paste. Love tahini. Garlic. Oh, always have to have garlic and orange juice. So uh, normally hummus is made with uh, lemon juice as the acidity, uh, but I chose to use orange juice and orange zest. Okay, so I like to measure garlic with my heart. Is this a recipe where it can take as much garlic or? It can take as much garlic as you as you like. Okay. It really is. All right, now we're gonna pulse we're this We're just again? gonna turn it on. Now you see it's starting to come together. And it's, it's like that vibrant pink color. It's yes, it's like, so pretty. It's like color matching. I mean, I'm not a pink person, but this is just pretty. <laughs> And then this is the last step, right? Right, we're just going to drizzle our olive oil slowly into it and let it run. Oh my gosh, delicious. Mmm, so good. Here at the estate, we serve this with um, crackers. We serve it with uh, some, some cracker chips. Right. Um, right. But this is so gorgeous. Look how pretty this is with the celery and carrots and zucchini. Come out, visit us, take in the views of this beautiful vineyard space, and enjoy some items from our bistro, including this delicious roasted beet hummus. Easy to make. It, it looks like it's there's more to it than there actually is, so it's a good one to make to impress people. Yes. Y'all enjoy. Thanks for joining us today. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Yum. Okay, that looks really good. I know. Cheers. I, I need my glass. We need our glasses. 
because I love hummus. And we were just talking about how beets, like beet salad or something yes. like that, mm. and with all the garlic in there. Great recipe. Ooh, yes. yes, the spring wine and food experience tasting menu is going on right now at Coleman Cellars Winery, and it's a 45 minute tasting that includes five wines expertly paired with delicious bites. Mm. Mm. Yum. Gotta find that recipe. For more information, <laughs> uh, just go to our website, of course, SALive.com, or just snap that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Next on SA Live, we peek inside some of the newest homes in our area, what you need to know if you're looking to buy and how you can check them out for yourself. Stay with us. It's a new community just 20 miles west of San Antonio, and you can take a tour here and see inside these homes starting this weekend on the 2023 Parade of Homes. And we are in Country Village Estates in Castroville with Christy Sutterfield, who is the Executive Vice President of Greater San Antonio Home Builders Association. So good to see you. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm doing fantastic out here in Castroville now. Yeah, Castroville's in New Bernie. Oh, yeah? Uh, there's so much growth out here. but. If people have got to come see this incredible community. They are so warm and inviting. This town has embraced the parade. And this new subdivision is Country Village Estates. It's a custom subdivision, homes from the 800,000 plus, and there's something for everybody. Wow, just it's so fun to look around. And this is a great one that we're in right now. So tell us about all the sponsors and also some of the giveaways you have going on. Well, so we are so blessed to have Security Service Federal Credit Union as our presenting partner. They have stepped up and partnered with us so we have an incredible advertising campaign and got a lot of special events planned cps energy of course they're our corporate partner and hollywood crawford garage doors and openers randy oliver and his family they have supported the parade for years and the north Platte family of dealerships so you can come out to the parade and not only see all the new homes you can see the new lincolns and lexuses and subarus and chevrolet so come on out we um you can you can buy your tickets online. You can buy the tickets on site. You can buy the tickets from the Castroville Chamber of Commerce. Well, also joining us is Cody Torres, who is the founder and CEO of Macaw Custom Homes. And yeah, you walk in, wow, describe this home in one sentence. So to describe it to you in one sentence would be everything. <laughs> everything you can think of in a home is you're gonna be in this home from the multiple living spaces to the outdoor living spaces to the master bedroom to downstairs to the upstairs bedrooms that are great for kids. We even have a special little spot for those teenagers that want to hide away from the rest of the family or that great yoga studio that we have up there today. Or that little secluded office if be. Mm -hmm. And you can spend the day up here catching the sunrise oh. as well as the sunset on the outdoor yeah, patios. We have great patios. We have three tall patios, two upstairs, one downstairs. Great spot in the mornings, have your morning coffee, wake up to the beautiful sunrise, and in the evenings as you start to wind down, see those great Casterville sunsets here in, here in the city. And usually think of custom homes, you think of it's gonna take a long time, but not when you build them, right? So not the way we built. It's like, so we have, I've developed a system over the many years of how to build home with taking out all of the idiosyncrasies that slow up the build of a home. So in reality, a home like this, we built it in less than four months. Wow, inspiration for these homes. So the, a lot of the inspiration that goes into our homes is we'll take a look at the property itself, analyze what's going around it, and then we'll build the home and the plan according to that property. Uh, a lot of times people talk about cookie cutter. We don't do cookie cutter. We build a plan specifically for that lot, for that home, for that client. And what drives the company's values? Our values are really driven by your dream home is our mission. So we want to deliver a home that you're going to be able to turn around and say, hey, you know what? That was our home. We loved our home builder because they built, built us a great home. Well, the Parade of Homes 2023 is presented in partnership with Security Services Federal Credit Union, CPS Energy, Hollywood Crawford, and North Park Family of Dealerships. It's happening May 20th through the 29th, Wednesday through Sunday, and Memorial Day. For ticket information, visit the website, sabuilders.com. You can also download the San Antonio Parade of Homes app free for iPhone and Android. And you can enter to win free tickets to the 2023 Parade of Homes right now. Just go to our website, salive.com. Good luck. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, it's a passport to deliciousness at local Asian and Pacific Islander restaurants. The folks behind Curry Boys and Pinch Boil House are going to be here to tell us all about it. Plus, a brand new batch of insider deals, how you can save big on items for your home. Don't miss it tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. 
Spirit. We asked you to share your Spurs spirit. There's Sylvia. We matched today. Happy birthday to the Spurs lady. Two of the biggest Spurs fans in town. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Spurs says, yes. Go yes. Spurs, go. Sergio, I love it. Linda, go Spurs, go. Even Coco has the spirit. Let's see. Oh, I love that. So cute. That is great. Go Spurs, go. Yes. Oh look my goodness. Good. Yeah, I mean, this is great. just great. People are going crazy. Yes, it's amazing. Like yeah. you said, it looked like the championship. Honking the horns, going through downtown. Let's see how long it lasts. We're so excited. Are you excited? Like won, almost like they won the lotto lot. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm so excited. Thanks.